So, use the formula A equals LW, so length times width, to find the missing side length of each rectangle below, given the area. So we're going to be given the area for each of these problems. So let's solve. So we'll use this formula, A equals length times width. And all we need to do to solve these problems is substitute what we know into the formulas. So we are given the area, and here it is here. So instead of writing A, for the next line of solving, we can say 6.46, .46 because that is the value of A. Okay. And that equals, let's plug in what we're given. Uh, we are given the length, so that is 3.8 times y. We're not given the value of y yet. We have to find that out. So the next line of working says 6.46. Uh, but what is 3.8 times y? Uh, we write it like this because we don't know what y is just yet. So 3.8y. The next line of working we can now solve this for y. We need to cancel out 3.8 times y. So that we have to get rid of the multiplying by 3.8. Now how do we cancel out multiplying by 3.8? We divide by 3.8. And we do the same to both sides. Multiplied by 3.8, divided by 3.8, that cancels each other out. And we're left with y, which is what we want. And then 6.46 divided by 3.8. So we're allowed to use a calculator, so let's use it. So 6.46 divided by 3.8, 1.7. So that is the value of y. For formatting sake, we really should rewrite this so that the variable is on the left and its value is on the right. What unit of measurement are we using? We're using meters. It's a measure of length, so it's not squared. So we now know that this, right, is 1.7 meters. So y equals 1.7 meters. For the next one, again, let's start with the formula. Area equals length times width. And again, all we do is we plug in what we're given. And we are given the area, so let's use that. It's not a anymore. We know what a is. 4.465 equals what's the length. Uh, let's take it as this one. 4.7 because it looks the longest and what's the width we're not given the width that's an unknown that's a variable so let's just simplify all that 4.465 equals 4.7 times y we don't know the value of y yet so we rewrite that as 4.7 y okay so now we can solve for y and the way we do that is we have to cancel out the multiplying by 4.7 on the right-hand side, because this says 4.7 times y. How do we cancel multiplying by 4.7? We divide by 4.7. And we do that to both sides. So multiply by 4.7, divide by 4.7 cancels out. We're left with y, which is what we want. And then we're left on this side with 4.7. 465 divided by 4.7. Probably should use a calculator. We're allowed to use one, so let's use it. So 4.465 divided by 4.7. So what's the value there? So 0 0.95. So formatting-wise, we should rewrite it so that the variable's on the left, its value is on the right. And what's the unit of measurement? meters. We're doing length, not area, so it's just plain m for meters, and that is correct. And the last one over here, again, same process. A equals area equals length times width. Okay, let's substitute what we're given. We're given the area, so we know that's 51.52 equals length, 11.2, multiplied by whatever the width is, and that's y. We don't know. It's a variable. It's an unknown, and so we rewrite this nice and neatly. So we simplify the whole thing. Okay, we want to cancel uh, the multiplying by 11.2. We divide by 11.2. To keep the whole equation balanced, we do the same to the other side as well. So next line, this cancels out. And the next line, we have y, which is what we want, the variable by itself. So And on the left-hand side, we have to solve 51.52 divided by 11.2. 
So we need our calculator. So let's use our calculator. Uh, let's clear that. So what is it? 51.52 divided by 11.2. And the value of that is 4.6. So let's write 4.6. And for formatting sake, we really should have the variable on the left and its value on the right. What's the unit of measurement? Meters. It's a measure of length, so it's not squared. And this is the solution.